In wet lab five, we're gonna look at determining how much fat is in a sample of potato chips. So we're gonna look at a couple new calculations. One is figuring out the percent fat in one serving of potato chips. So if you have a bag of potato, or a sample of potato chips that you're going to test, we are going to need to find the grams of fat on the label. So this is found in the nutritional facts. You can find the total fat and the grams. We also need the serving size. So here it says the serving size is one package. Um, but if we look at the front of the package, we wanna make sure our units are the same because we're measuring fat in grams. So we also want our serving size in grams. So we would re record the serving size for uh, the potato chips. And we have to multiply by 100 to get it into a percentage. Okay. We're also gonna be looking at a percent error. So we're going to be taking some measurements. Um, we, through calculating the percent fat, that's gonna be our theoretical value, and we're gonna compare the two. So experimental is through the course of our experimentation, how much fat did we find? The theoretical value is from the package. Okay, what is the percent fat, um, what that should be? So in order to calculate our percent error, we're comparing that experimental value, subtracting the theoretical value from the package, dividing by that theoretical value times 100%. And so this can give us lots of information about um, how accurate our experimental results are. So we are going to be looking at two different ways in order to remove fat from the potato chips. Okay. One we cannot safely do at home because it requires the use of a nonpolar solvent called petroleum ether. And so in the lab, we can use petroleum ether, nonpolar, it um, dissolves the fat away from the potato chips and we can remove that fat. So there is a video that follows the procedure provided for you in order to compare this method to the one you're gonna be doing at home. So watch that video. You can record the data that is collected on the observations and data sheet. So you'll be using part A and part B. We are also going to ask you to do some statistical analysis, some error analysis. Okay. So there's data provided from the lab and you are going to follow the directions here, finding things like the average, the median. And then we're also going to be looking at um, whether or not all the data provided is statistically relevant. So we can have things called outliers where mistakes and errors were made, and so they really shouldn't be included in the data. So follow through the directions that are provided in order to determine um, if there are any outliers in the data. Okay. Now at home, you can remove the fat from potato chips, and there's a method that we can use. You're going to determine that theoretical percent fat using your potato chip label okay. and we're going to remove it the fat um, partially by using a paper towel so we want to turn our balance on we want to get the weight of paper towel and and we don't want that included with our chips so we're going to zero it and put the chips we want about five grams of chips Okay. So we want to make sure we record the exact amount. It gets us a little closer. Okay. And then we're going to take the 
potato chips and crush them inside the paper towel. Now as we do that, you may start to see some of the oil being removed onto the paper towel, which is what our goal is. Okay. Now, just by crushing it and using the paper towel, we won't get all of the oil out, but we can speed up this process a little bit using some heat. So we're going to use a microwave and take our potato chips in the paper towel and microwave it for 30 seconds. Please don't do longer than 30 seconds because you wanna be able to check to make sure that they are not getting um, brown or overly toasted. So 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, we're going to take the potato chips out, double check to make sure that they're not overly brown. Okay. I'm going to add them back into the microwave and microwave them for an additional 30 seconds. After the 30 seconds, the second 30 seconds are up, we're going to remove the potato chips. Again, double checking to make sure that they're not um, getting too brown or burnt. We're going to transfer those potato chips from that first piece of paper towel that we can see has removed some of the fat. We're gonna transfer them to a second piece of paper towel. Crush them a little bit more. And we're gonna microwave them again. So think about as you're doing this, how this relates to that video and the petroleum ether extraction. Again, we're going to microwave this for 30 seconds. Double check your potato chips after the 30 seconds. And then microwave them an additional 30 seconds. After the two heatings for 30 seconds on our second piece of paper towel, we're going to transfer them to a third clean piece of paper towel. Crush them a little bit more. And follow the same procedure. So an additional 30 seconds in the microwave. Double check the potato chips, make sure they're not too brown. And we're gonna microwave them a final 30 seconds. Now that we have finished microwaving our potato chips, we're gonna try and remove as much fat as possible from those potato chips. We're going to add the final piece of clean paper towel onto our scale. Make sure that we zero the weight and then transfer our potato chips onto the scale. This may be done most effectively off of the scale and then put it on. Careful to not lose any of the pieces of potato chip. And then record the final mass of your potato chips after the heating. From that, the difference in mass is going to be the amount of fat that was removed from your potato chips. Once you have all of your numbers recorded, you can uh, clean up the potato chips and paper towel can go in the garbage. Make sure 
um, that you've been wearing your goggles this whole time. And so then once everything's cleaned up, you can take those off and then do the calculations for this lab in Excel. If you do have any questions throughout the course or if at any point you don't feel safe, um, please don't hesitate to contact me and um, let me know what questions that you have. Thank you for your work on this lab.